The following is an excerpt from the 2023-2024 budget presentation by Prime Minister the Most Honorable Andrew Holness. I will now turn to the matter of the development of the nation's infrastructure. As we all know, strong and well-maintained infrastructure is the foundation of any thriving society. Providing support for economic activity and connecting our communities to services can only be done by creating well-planned, well-built, well-maintained infrastructure. I will first spend a few moments on a quiet powerhouse, the National Spatial Data Management Branch of the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation. I bet most people didn't even know that, that we have such an agency the National Spatial Data Management Branch. And I'm, I'm highlighting it for a reason. The National Spatial Data Management Branch's mission is to manage the capability to digitally capture, store, process, and coordinate Jamaica's geographic data to support decision-making for national development. Essentially, the guiding concept of geographic information systems is to capture everything that happens and tie it to a precise location. So you want to capture what happened, when it happened, and where it happened. But why do we need GIS? Having recorded when, what, and where, we can then probe that information to answer why it happened, who it happened to, and how it happened. And once you have that data and you can probe it, then you can start to plan effectively. The point I want to make by highlighting this industry is that there is always a lot of talk about Jamaica's development, right? But, Madam Speaker, our development is becoming more evidence-based. Now, I am the first to concede that Jamaica's spatial development has been historically unplanned and poorly planned. As you drive around and you see the spatial layout of the country, you ask yourself, why was the road aligned so close to the coast? Yeah, no, yeah. Or why is the road alongside a river? Yeah. Now, there are historical reasons yeah. for that. That's where the ships used to come in. They used to offload. And you know, the river already created a path. You work that path, usually a donkey trail, till it emerges into a path, and then it emerges into a road. So, Madam Speaker, you know, not a lot of planning would have, would have gone into it. But it doesn't mean that what we have inherited, that we should keep it. Yeah. It doesn't have to stay that way. We can change it. Yeah. And we can use the technology we have, the data we have, to properly, spatially plan our country. You know, Madam Speaker, we, we ask ourselves, why would we allow the main street of a town to also be the main highway? Why didn't we build a road around the town? Why did we build highways, such as the North Coast Highway Corridor, and then allow numerous points of entry and exit onto the highway? An investment that should have been a highway has now become a congested local street. So these are things that we have to consider, and we have to employ greater evidence base, greater data in planning our country. So, Madam Speaker, this administration is taking planning seriously, and we are using cutting-edge technology and data-driven processes to make decisions about the spatial development of our country.